let's talk about ampere's law related to magnetism we have studied in electrostatics the coulomb's law and we have also studied gauss's law is this gauss law is a corollary of coulomb's law similarly here we have studied bio and savoy's law there is another law through which you can find out the magnetic field easily just like the problems if you solve with coulomb's law it is difficult whereas gauss law will make it easy for us similarly the calculations in bio and savoy's law are very complicated whereas in the ampere's law it is easy now what is ampere's law we studied from bio and savoy's law that if we take a long or infinite current carrying conductor and if you want to measure the magnetic field at a distance r we proved that this magnetic field is equal to mu not i by 2 pi r this magnetic field is same at all the points on the circle of radius r we can say that this magnetic field is having a cylindrical symmetry if you see this if i take this as the current carrying conductor and on this cylinder at any point if i take the magnetic field it is equal to mu not i by 2 pi r if i take a cylinder like this this is current carrying conductor then at any point on this cylinder you will have that the magnetic field is mu not i by 2 pi r if you take a loop and if the magnetic field is if you take a current carrying conductor then along this loop the magnetic field is tangential to this loop this is all about the direction of magnetic field you can find out this direction with the help of ampere's right hand grip rule if you take the direction of the current along the thumb and then if you want to hold the conductor in your hands then you have to fold the fingers in this direction so these curled fingers will represent the magnetic field lines magnetic field is always tangential to those field lines now if somebody walks around this loop along this direction if you take very small 
लेंथ एलिमेंट्स डी एल देन एम्पियर सेस दैट इफ यू टेक द प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ बी एंड डी एल फॉर दिस क्लोज लूप दिस इज द नोटेशन फॉर क्लोज लूप he says that this is nothing but mu times the current this current is enclosed in the loop it is always better to say the current threaded in this is known as ampere's law in fact this is this is the mathematical statement of ampere's law for any closed loop if you take b dot dl it gives us mu not times of i now you need not apply the bio and savais law for each and every small loop and calculate the value and finally we have to integrate directly we can say if you have any loop if the current is penetrating into the loop then integral over b dot dl is equal to mu not times of i in ampere circuit law you have to take a closed path and you have to attach a surface this loop can be attached to a flat surface like this this is a flat surface attached to this loop this can also be an open surface attached like this so this is the loop and this is the surface attached to it now here if i consider the current is getting in then the magnetic field will be in this direction if the observer is on this side for him it appears the current is in and then if you go around in a clockwise direction then ampere's law tells us that i should be considered as positive suppose if you go in the opposite direction that is current is coming out then the magnetic field will be in this direction counter clockwise direction then the current comes out is to be taken as the positive in all the cases you have to take the current penetrating this surface that is it may go into this or it may come penetrating the surface and come out of this surface if you consider that the current side going inside is i1 then current coming outside is i2 i1 is greater than 0 when we move in the clockwise direction suppose if we move in the anti clockwise direction the current coming out is to be taken as positive the current going in is to be taken as negative this ampere's law can be proved by taking the help of bio and savais law how this is a long straight conductor and we are taking the magnetic field around the loop of radius r now this is the result we obtained now if you send this to pi r then it becomes mu not 
times of i. I can write this as closed integral over dl. As this is constant, I can put it inside. b dot dl is equal to mu naught times of i. Of course, in the case of circle, if it is a circular path and if the current is moving in this direction, then this is the direction of the magnetic field. Now, if a person moves in the clockwise direction, the direction of dl is also same. So, in that case, it becomes b dl cos 0 because the angle between these two vectors is 0. But Ampere says that it is also valid for any closed loop. It is not necessary that it should be a circular path. In this case, if the current is inside for at this particular point, magnetic field is always perpendicular, but the DL element is in this direction. And this is making a theta. In this case, we have to consider B DL cos theta. And it is also equal to mu naught i. So, as a general case, we considered that integral over b dot dl over a closed loop if you take the contribution of each and every small length elements then it is always equal to mu naught times of i. This is the Ampere circuital law or simply Ampere's law. By using this Ampere's law, it is very easy to find out the magnetic field in some of the cases. Of course, we have to use Bio and Sivai's law in some other cases, but by using this Ampere's law, in some of the cases, it's very easy to find out. Only the thing is, you have to find out the current threaded in.